this is Nina here with Hema Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to social studies class. We are in the economics division of our study and we're talking today about the types of jobs. What is a job and what are these different types? We're going to talk about all of that in this lesson right after we have a word of prayer. If you have your workbook and need just a guide, you can turn to page 53. It'll give you the hand there that'll sort of give you the points of prayer that we'll be um, praying about today. And if you're ready, let's begin. Heavenly Father, we just come before you, just thanking you, Lord. We come into your presence with thanksgiving. We give thanks to your name, Father, for all things. We want to pray and lift up before you those individuals who are our family, our close loved ones, Lord. We um, lift, up, lift them up before you, Lord, close loved ones, our spiritual loved ones, those who are part of the body of Christ, we lift up to you before also our friends, and people we associate with, Lord, we ask you, Father, to just give them um, more wisdom, Lord, the wisdom so that they know you more and that they can please you that much more today. Lord, I also ask you for strength in their spirit so that they have the energy, the impetus to do your work and to do your will in style. Lord, we also lift up before you those who lead us and point us in the right direction, we pray for our parents, we pray for our um, teachers and pastors and everyone who's responsible for leading us on the right path. Lord, we ask you for revelation and knowledge and revelation and wisdom to enter into their hearts. Lord, help them to understand you better so that they can please you better, Lord. We ask you for strength in their spirits as well. Father, I lift up before you the rulers of the land, all those who are responsible who carry the burden of making laws for the land, that for altering laws and editing things. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to surround them with godly counsel so that they can produce ultimately godly laws for the sake of righteousness and promoting peace and joy on the earth. Lord, we also want to ask you and lift up before you in the name of Jesus, all those who are ill and sick or, or um, unhealthy in their physical bodies, Lord, we ask you firstly to give them wisdom so that they know what not to do again if it's an illness that's as a consequence of bad decisions. But Lord, otherwise we ask you, Lord, Holy Spirit, to go over them, comfort them, teach them, instruct them in the right way and heal their physical bodies in the name of Jesus. Finally, Lord, I lift up myself before you, asking you for mercy, and to shower me more with your wisdom so that I can be better uh, positioned to know you better, to please you more as my heart's desire. Thank you, Father, for the grace of God that's operable in my life. In the name of Jesus and through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I finally want to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for all that you've given me, all that you do for our lives. We're so grateful, so abundantly grateful for your hand in our lives. And um, we thank you, Father, for calling us your own in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. While we're in the prayer mode, let's go ahead and read the sum of the Ten Commandments. With all thy soul, love God above, and as thyself, thy neighbor, love God. Is that the summary of commandments? Yeah, the summary of all the commandments. Simply, love God, love others. Isn't that nice? That's easy. Okay, so today we're talking about types of jobs. We're in week 32. We're going to talk about what are the different types of jobs? So firstly, a job is something that you do, right? It's something that you, you do. God created humans to work. We're meant to, to work. Um, that's just their reason and purpose for our creation. And a lot of people just stop and end with fellowship, and that's nice, but it's also to work. He wants us to work. So as you're working, the, the type of job that you do or the, the work that you do, we call it a job. So I work here. My job is here. And uh, that job typically comes with a title or the, the name of the place that you work. I work at the blah, blah, blah. My job is to blah, blah, blah. So the occupation or the thing that you do is your job. Um, there are lots of different types of jobs that a person could have. You can have jobs at home. Uh-huh. You can have jobs at school. It's true. You can have jobs in the community. The jobs at home, everybody has a job. Mommy has a job. Daddy has a job. The children even have jobs. Really? Yeah, they're unpaid, but they're jobs nonetheless. Have you ever heard mommy and daddy say, help set the table, or maybe clean your room, 
or maybe um, you know, dry the dishes or something like that. That's a job. It's 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 just working within your family. It's not a job that's meant to cause you stress or you know any kind of burden, any kind of emotional trauma. It's meant to just make you feel close to your family. It's a, a sort of a, a way you can work together with your relatives and draw closer to each other. Because as you're working together and as you're doing things for each other, you're showing each other that you love each other. We're a small community, we love each other. Now at school, you can also work. Your teacher's going to say, do your homework or do your work. That's work. <laughs> it's a different kind of work. It's a brain job, but it's still work. So you work even at school. And in your community, you could work. You could be um, requested to do a community job or to do community work. You know, sometimes they'll, you may be asked to go on to the community and pass out, you know, flyers or go on to the community and, you know, I don't know, clean up, maybe pick up the trash, the litter in a certain park or something like that. You know, but you could work for the community. It may not be paid. Most of these things aren't paid but they're still work. Now, those are jobs that can exist in life. There are also jobs that, real jobs that are paying jobs. And those are the jobs that grownups have to take in order to pay, in order to make money, because you work a job to make money. You make money so you can support your family. The scripture says somewhere, the, the apostle Paul says, if you don't work, you can't eat. So you have to work in order to make money to, to take care of yourself. Some jobs may include teachers. You could be a teacher. You could be a cafeteria worker, a janitor. The community needs jobs such as a zookeeper, a farmer, a weatherman. What about that? Those are things you could do for the community. And there are tons and tons of jobs you could do when you get older. So we're talking about jobs because you know what? One day you're going to get older and get old enough to where it's time for you to get a job. And so because of that, you should start thinking about things you want to do. You know, what, what do I want to do with, with my life? What has God called me to do? Really, that's kind of the, the bigger, better question. What, do you, what has God put in my heart to do? And you'll talk to the Lord and pray about it and see what it is he wants you to do. And once you find out, you can start making plans around that. If you think God is calling you to be a computer scientist, maybe you'll start playing around with the computer. Start finding out more about what a computer scientist does. Maybe you'll start programming a little bit or doing some modifications on the computer and things like that. And maybe asking mom or dad to, to teach you a few things. Just say, yeah, I feel like that's what God wants me to be. What if you want to grow up to be a farmer or an agriculturalist? Well, what are you going to do? You're going to start, mm, mommy, it'd be nice to have a garden. I like to start learning about the soil. Start removing the weeds and the stones out of the soil. That'd be nice. Just start getting my hands dirty and kind of feel what it's like to work as a farmer. Maybe you'll grow a little garden. And, and so find out what God wants from you. If you have your worksheet, your workbook, turn to page 48 and you'll see listed there a few other potential job opportunities that you may consider and start talking to the Lord about. See where he wants you to go. Thank you so much for coming to class and for being a part of today's lesson. Until next time. God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you worry